What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I am back with another Fortnite video and today we're going to talk more about Season 4 within Battle Royale and actually the plausible probability that we might actually see DC characters introduced with Season 4 as skins we can win and purchase. But before we do that people, as per usual I'm giving away 2800 V-Bucks. To be with a chance of winning them simply make sure you're subscribed to this channel and have that bell button ticked. Hit that like button on this video and leave a comment down below. Winners are picked weekly and contacted via direct message. So good luck everybody. Okay, so with season four coming out very, very soon indeed, literally hours from now, there has been plenty of speculation about what theme will be behind this new season. The main theme people think it might be will be superheroes. I mean, hey, that sounds great to me. I am a massive superhero fan and I would love such a thing. With the addition of the meteor within the sky and all the clues as to what's going to happen, we kind of piece together that this meteor will strike the map at the start of season four and basically start off this new season. There were just too many clues and hidden secrets found in game pointing towards possibilities of what's coming in the future. Because the meteor was shown to be the main point in what was going to happen, many thought it was going to be kind of alien themed, space themed, some even thought Chinese themed. The Chinese theme came from a tweet Epic made talking about traveling through China, which was just basically them confirming Fortnite will be launching in China. The space and alien themed seasons though kind of have a bit more backbone due to in-game clues. Ones we really don't need to go over due to literally everyone covering everything there is to know about said clues. So before a week ago it was anyone's guess as to what this new theme will represent. Then Epic tweeted that this image right here, which many thought was a meteor travelling to strike the earth, which I suppose still could be the meaning of this image. You can also see a new character within this meteor trail. People saw this character and immediately thought it was going to be a superhero themed new season. And when you take another look at the image, the new character does indeed look like the Flash and this meteor, not actually being a meteor at all, it's actually the Flash with that lightning speed and this is that lightning trail he leaves behind him. The day after that, they tweeted this image right here, you can see on screen now. And again, this looks like another pretty famous superhero called Wonder Woman. Then we had a leak on season 4. It hasn't been confirmed to be factual, but what's mentioned does kind of make sense. The leak states that this new season will indeed be superhero themed. Arriving within season 4 will be two heroes and two villains. It also states Tilted Tales won't be hit by a meteor, but Dusty Depot will be which we will get to in a second. So this leak states it's going to be superhero themed. We then got two more teaser images. Those though, these new characters I don't really recognize as superheroes. They still indeed could be, or maybe they are the villains. This leak spoke of two heroes, Flash and Wonder Woman, and two villains. We then got this final image today, which shows what looks to be like a meteor hit the map. And we've got four people standing over it. Now these actual four characters right here, three of them are known to be old characters. The fourth one, the one with the glowing blue eyes, I don't know what that is. It could be a character from back in the day, I can't remember. But the three of them I definitely recognise. I first thought when looking at this image that this was an actual spaceship that struck the Earth and these appeared from that spaceship. But because three of the four characters we've already seen before, I don't think that's the case. I think they're just back up. I think they've just come here to see what's going down. But the one thing that does coincide with the leak is the fact that we can see within this image power lines within the background. These power lines on the Fortnite map are located by Whaling Woods and, you guessed it, Dusty Depot. So could indeed this meteor be hitting Dusty Depot like this leak states? We we're just going to have to wait and see. So Fortnite Season 4 being superhero themed and then basically ripping off DC characters in Flash and Wonder Woman seems a little off to me and many other people and rightly so. If we had rip off versions of characters of an already established company like DC, to me it just wouldn't fit right at all. I mean yeah for sure maybe one rip off character they could probably get away with but a whole season and theme based off rip offs to me just won't work and won't happen. So I decided to do a little research into Epic and their history. Did you guys know Epic has a parent company called Tencent? Tencent owns the majority of Epic games through 40%. 
Now if you didn't know about Tencent, they have their fingers everywhere. They have published many, many games. So a quick Google search looking for Tencent and DC Comic Toys reveals some seriously interesting things. Tencent actually already have a DC licensing deal in place. A game published by Tencent called Strike of Kings uses this license and actually has playable DC characters within the game. Here is more info on this matter. Tencent has sealed a licensing deal with Time Warner to bring characters from the DC comic universe to its hit mobile MOBA Strike of Kings. The game known by many names including Honor of Kings is one of the most popular titles in China right now having hit suppressed some 50 million daily active users. Now it's been soft launched in the west as Strike of Kings and Tencent aims to use popular IP to fuel its success. Tencent has already introduced some characters to the game, including Batman, Superman and the Joker. As comic book reports, the licenses deal, however, will give the Chinese publisher the opportunity to delve further into the DC Universe's catalogue of characters. It could prove a smart move for Tencent, with the new Wonder Woman film about to hit cinemas on June 1st, 2017, and the first Justice League movie arriving later this year on November 16th, 2017. Though currently called Strike of Kings, Tencent is now surveying fans and their opinion for a new title for its MOBA. So in reality guys after reading this it isn't as far-fetched as I initially thought it would be. Is there an actual license here for Epic to use DC Comics skins within Fortnite Battle Royale? Well with the help of the parenting company Tencent it is a true possibility. No ripper, fake ass characters, actually amazing true to design hero skins coming. Sounds absolutely great to me for sure. Sounds too good to be true, but actually in this case it might even happen. Season 4 starts tomorrow and it's when we'll find out for sure if a deal is in place. I just want to run around as Batman people. I want to be the Dark Knight. How about you? Now DC Comics ain't the only big time players in the superhero business. There's also another company called Marvel, who are now owned by Disney. So are there any ties between Epic Games and Disney? In fact people there is. Another quick Google search reveals the following. The Walt Disney Company today announced that Epic Games is among the 2017 Disney Accelerator companies that are helping build the future of media and entertainment. The Disney Accelerator is designed to connect Disney portfolio companies with the creativity, imagination and expertise of the Walt Disney Company by giving participants unprecedented access to Disney's leadership team, mentorship and support. This year's program is helping shape the future and intersection of entertainment and technology. You can read the the full announcement below for details. Epic Games founder and CEO Tim Sweeney said, over the past few years we've had great collaborations with the Walt Disney Company, contributing Unreal Engine technology to everything from theme park rides to Star Wars movies, and we look forward to participating in the Disney Accelerator. Over the past 20 years, developers have chosen Epic's Unreal Engine to ship visual stunning, high quality games and experiences across PC console, mobile, VR and AR platforms. Today developers also choose Unreal your engine for cinematic production, visualization and design and simulation. Disney Accelerator is helping companies including Epic turn their dreams for new media and entertainment experiences into reality. So guys Epic and Disney do have some kind of partnership but I am afraid I don't think there's any licensing deals on the table here yet. I mean I could be wrong but I just couldn't find any information on it. Plus with Tencent already down with DC and being a parenting company of Epic, I highly doubt we will see both DC and Marvel characters in season four. That in my opinion just won't happen. Again guys, tomorrow we will find out and I cannot wait. But on that note guys, I am out. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, truly helps me out. Thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully people I will see you on that next one. Always in the wrong.